What a day, what a time, and what a season to be alive. I'm glad to be able to be back with you today in worshipping our God. I'm Chris, and I'm thankful that you too have the time to honour God with us today. Firstly, a big warm welcome to our first-time viewers today. We are glad to have you join us. Please allow us the privilege to get to know you better by leaving us your contact on this link shown on the screen. We are looking forward to the day when our services resume and to meet you face to face over a cup of coffee or tea. How has September been for you so far? Time has really moved so fast and in the blink of an eye, we are at the last quarter of the year. We fully understand that 2020 has been a challenging year for many. Therefore, I want to encourage all of you to keep your focus on God. In Jonah chapter 2, verse 7, it says, When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. I want to encourage all of you to focus on God and not to focus on your struggles. Let me show you something. So, what do you see? Some see a piece of paper, yet some may see a dot. You have the choice of seeing what you want to focus on. And this principle can be applied to how you view life likewise. So the encouragement that I have for you is that you can look beyond your problems in your life and try to see where God is leading and encouraging you. And though sometimes it can be a lonely journey, it need not stay that way because as a spiritual family, we are here for each other. So allow someone into your life to walk with you and journey with you in whatever situation you are facing in your life. If you love us to do so, take the first step in leaving your details on the link for us to get in touch with you. Nevertheless, our God is in control. We can always count on Him as our peace and counsellor in our lives and bring that into our community. Hear more as Pastor Andrew shares them in our sermon segment. Your faithfulness in your tangible worship unto the Lord is commendable. We have heard testimonies where through a mask distribution in our community has led a soul in knowing God. We rejoice in this work and we are thankful that it was enabled because of your generosity. Details on how you can participate in our tithes and offerings are on the screen. Thank you for your partnership in making His name known far and wide. Have a great service and see you in our announcement segment for what's coming up in Coos. 